So we got a bit of an update today on Project Cushman here. We pulled the back axle out and uh, built up a little engine mount for the motor. It's a GX140 motor that actually when I got it probably about 5-10 years ago it was covered in black stuff, completely not running, missing parts. Took it all apart, took it to a boiler room, swapped out the head for a GX200 head which has been shaved on a on a lathe so the compression's greater it's been pouring polish, the timing's been advanced um, I have an adapter that I can get for the head there so I, so I can run a, an alcohol carburetor on here and make some serious power just on gas it makes 15 horsepower on a, a 5 horsepower stock motor with all the additional stuff because it's ungoverned too right so can do about 6500 RPM no problem which stock can only do about 3200 rpm if it's on alcohol does about the same rpm but it makes more power does about 20 horsepower on the dyno it's a pretty serious little motor for being just a little five horse originally it can handle four times the power for the back end i'm thinking of you know just running a straight axle these are the carriers i'll probably mount them on the bottom but they're just in place so you got an idea that's what i'm thinking here probably end up reusing some of these pieces here just so I got the original height you know just cut those off and get them either welded make a block or something to make up the difference and yeah it's coming right along took off a whole bunch of wiring don't need that because it's just gas you don't need all this electrical junk and basically it's probably gonna be a little bit longer than I expected because I will need a custom axle made this which I won't be able to do but my uncle should be able to do so it's the one thing I can't do by myself I don't got the, the proper tools or the know-how so yeah that's it for now I'll try and keep you guys posted and up to date as I make headway here give me any ideas if you got them